Day two of the Trading 212 tour and it transpires that this is not a dream. I woke up this morning in Florence thinking, did yesterday actually happen? Walk downstairs and the RS is still here. So we're all good, this is still happening. And today is gonna be an awesome day because we're heading from Florence up the coastal roads of Italy and we're going to drop down into Monte Carlo. On the way, we're also hoping to stop at Portofino. But without further ado, let's hop in and hit the road. Okay, so the first part, the morning part of this journey so far, as you've seen, has been pretty grim, actually. But that is the price you pay for doing a road trip in November. But now, we are winding our way down into Portofino. We're five kilometers away, and the surrounding towns, the surrounding just beauty, that is the coastal roads that lead there is just absolutely stunning. And of course, positively Mediterranean, which means we are lucky in that we've managed to drop onto some sunshine just as we've arrived. Now, we didn't really do too much motorway driving in the RS yesterday, but uh, the majority of the morning has been that. So a quick overview, I can confirm that the RS is as good on the motorway as it is anywhere else. In fact, and I don't know why, but for whatever reason, the RS feels a little bit more composed than the GT3. I'm not sure if it's just the added stability of the downforce or the fact that it's a wider track, but it feels great. So there's two reasons that we've come here. The first reason is it's absolutely stunning and the roads around here are beautiful. Second reason is we are once again capturing lovely stunning content which will be coming soon to the new MrJWW.com website. If you head over there now, you can actually put in your email address and you'll be the first to get notified when it goes live. But essentially, we are taking the blog to the next level. I'm indulging you guys in the experience of the, the adventures. Sometimes I don't always get to say what I want to say in the videos about the places that we've visited and quite simply because it would make the video two hours long. <laughs> um, so I thought, you know what, for those interested in the places we're visiting, the restaurants we've stopped at, the locations that we've done these photo shoots, the blog is gonna be turned up to 11. We're gonna have stunning photography supported by the video and of course, lots of articles as to where we've been, where I can recommend you go if you ever visit this part of the world. We have arrived in the stunning seaside town of Portofino and we've arrived just in time for the sunshine to come out in this whole little port all of the buildings are draped in these warm pastel shades it's gonna make a stunning backdrop for this checkpoint we've managed to wangle our way port side and park up 
the car precariously close to <laughs> the edge, but I think it'll be worth it from a sort of backdrop photo point of view. But more to the point, the drive down here has been absolutely stunning. It's very tight. The roads are very tight and twisty, and when you meet oncoming traffic, it's a bit of a squeeze but it just gets so Mediterranean. There's lots of beautiful palm trees, ocean on one side, beautiful cliffs on the opposite. If you're ever traveling on a road trip around Italy, or more to the point, if you're not, what are you doing? Get yourself here. Portofino is absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm being photographed by Rich as we speak. Look, this guy, he's, he's, every time I see him, he's like up something. He's on a top of a, a boulder or a, or a tree or a log, but that's, that's what gets these great shots which I'm super excited to share. Now, I've had a lot of people asking me when the new website is going live. Like anything, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. And so it is gonna take a few more weeks yet, but it will be worth it. Now, this morning, we started out in Florence and our ultimate destination is Monte Carlo, which I'm very excited about. Um, but first up, we're gonna get back on the road, wind our way out of this stunning town, even though it pains me to leave it. And then, yeah, get back on the road to Monaco. Let's do it. Burger in your mouth. Oh, cool. <laughs> Look who's back. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been pointing the camera at Rich a lot lately when we've been walking around taking photos, but you actually haven't seen him in the car. Uh, we do have a support car, but I, I'm, I just had to get you in because I thought that location, Portofino, was definitely the most beautiful we've stopped at so oh, far. Wow. You know? Wow. What do you reckon? Oh, amazing. Good pictures? Amazing photos, yeah, so good. Oh yeah, it's a tunnel. I've been stuck in the back of a bloody van all day. <laughs> Typically, as soon as we started talking, we're in a dark tunnel. I don't know, maybe you'll be able to work out what we look like. Um, but how's it been for you so far, man? From a photo point of view, oh. good content? Oh, amazing. Some of the best roads I've ever driven. I know, they were, the roads are amazing, but they're a bit tight. I mean, we're here in November, which is not tourist season, and it's still been relatively busy. Yeah. Imagine what it's like in tourist season. Yeah. So if you want to go to Portofino, I would actually recommend not going in summer. Yeah, because definitely. today we've had bright blue skies, it's been 18 degrees, yeah. and it's November. <laughs> so it's pretty, I mean, but, you know, yeah. seriously, no, I, I, Portofino in summer, atrocious. Must be a good luck show. I know, mate. Every time you get your camera out, for the sun. <laughs> like, so for the, the cool thing about Rich is I never see any photos until you're all sort of done with them. I, know, I forget. I forget all of the different stops that we've been to. He hides them away from me, and then a few days later, he'll send me this link to all of these amazing photos, and I just sit there like with the down arrow going, <laughs> "Oh my god." So cool. But what's great is normally I'd be sharing these in quite a small format on social media, they'd be going on Instagram or something like that. But with the new website, we're going to have big, beautiful pictures to support the blog. And also the really special select ones we're going to offer as a download, a wallpaper download, because I get requests for that yeah, cool. all the time. Um, yeah, so chances are if you downloaded a wallpaper off the new website, it's been from that guy. <laughs> cool. Anyway, less burger, more progress. in Monte Carlo was April. That's a lie. The last time I was in Monte Carlo was actually for the Grand Prix. So uh, yeah, that's complete horse. But the last time I was here in a full on car capacity was definitely during the Top Marks week in April. It also just so happened to be my uh, 30th birthday while I, I was here. And I was of course here with Sam, Seb and Paul. I love, I love arriving here. There's something about it and I've said this before, but when you arrive in Monaco, 
it gives you a special feeling. The architecture changes, even the trees change. It becomes a very Mediterranean vibe and everything's just really special and quality. And of course, it oozes F1 history, which you get reminded of by the fact that all of the curbs around here are straight off a racetrack. They're the red and white curb, but it's just amazing to be here. I think we started out two days ago in Tuscany, Italy. We've collected the brand new 991 RS, and now we've wound our way through some spectacular driving roads via Portofino to Monte Carlo. Without further ado, let's take a quick little tour around Monte Carlo at night and check in. As always guys, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Ciao!